Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got the Nikon AW130 here. That's the waterproof, shockproof, freeze-proof camera from Nikon. Um, really cool little camera, and I've really enjoyed with my time with it, but it's time for it to go back to Nikon, so it's time for me to give you my final review after um, quite a few weeks, actually several months of shooting with this. Um, and actually, you know, the funny thing, the person who should be doing this review is my daughter Lily because she loves this camera. She always asks me, Daddy, can I borrow the yellow Nikon camera? She really likes it. Um, and that's a good point with these cameras is you're a lot uh, less hesitant to loan them to your kids uh, than you would be, say, a DSLR or something or even a normal compact because these are freeze-proof, waterproof, shock-proof. I mean, they, they're supposed to be able to handle a hit. You can get water on them. Uh, your kid would really have to be beaten on these to do a damage on it. They're a solid little camera. So, um, you know, that's definitely a big plus with them. For all the reasons you're going to want them, it also translates over to a great little camera to loan your kids or to let them use as well if you don't want them using your more delicate cameras. So, Nikon AW130. It's available in a host of colors. I actually really like the yellow here. It's like banana yellow or primary yellow. Uh, you can get it in blue, orange, and black. I think, if I remember, memory serves are the other three colors. Um, what does it have? It's got a 16 megapixel, uh, they call it a low light, what do they have it? A low light CMOS sensor. Uh, five times Nikkor glass in here. And it's got full 1080p video and Wi-Fi and NFC. I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I don't miss anything for you. Um, you know, the image quality in here is pretty darn good. You're not gonna equal a DSLR or some of the super high-end compacts, but for an inexpensive camera that is designed for a specific purpose, and that is, you know, to be able to take this to the beach or out in the elements, you know, where the cold's not gonna bother it, the water's not gonna bother it, dropping it or hitting it's not gonna bother it, it's great that way. It's probably one of the best pocket cameras you can get. It does very good image quality for this level of camera. It does very good uh, video for this level of camera. As I said, full 1080p. Um, be interesting to see if the next one goes 4K. Um, but overall, just a good all-round performer. And uh, one of the beauties of this is I'm not sure anybody beats the AW130 because this is a 30 meter or uh, 100 feet depth that it, this is rated to. So you could you can take this scuba diving um, and it's got a flash and it does uh, very good photography for that. So um, really nice. It also does the GPS uh, thing. So it'll tag your coordinates and whatnot. Um, just all around a really nice little camera. So uh, I've got nothing really negative to say. Fit and finish on it's really good. It's well built, well put together. I really actually like how they do the batteries, um, the seal and the door on here because it, it you have to click it in and you can feel it click and you know it's sealed and I haven't had any problem. I still have the old AW100, which is I guess three versions ago, I think. I think we had a 110, 120 and now the 130. So three or four versions ago and mine still works great. My daughter uses that one too. My other daughter uses it. Um, so really nice little cameras. The uh, Let's see, what else did I have in my notes that I wanted to tell you about? Um, the five times zoom is really nice. It's a 2.8 to four nine so you know at wide you're getting a fairly bright zoom so you know that you can uh in dim lighting shoot wide and get a little better image quality because you've got a little better uh light gathering ability the close macro focus is really nice because it's one centimeter so it's very close this these cameras are very good for getting really up close and getting some good macro shots and my daughter really liked that too doing flowers and animals and bugs and things like that so that's really good um, the Wi-Fi and the NFC, they both work well. Um, nice to see them both on here. I think all cameras need that now. Uh, as I mentioned, the GPS, the built-in mapping, that's a real cool function. Um, for those of you that are into, you know, some of those GPS games and GP, I forget, I can't remember the name of it, but you know, where you go out and you look for caches of things that are hidden at GPS coordinates. Um, this would be a great camera because it's rough and rugged. You could take it out and about wherever you need to go to get to them. It's got the GPS and the mapping built in great little option there. Um, 
I, I enjoy the controls and the layouts. I'm used to them, I guess, because I have the AW100. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer there. Um, very easy. Uh, it's got the internal focusing, which is nice, too. There's nothing protrudes here. So when you zoom, it's all done internally. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it's a great little camera. It's small. It's light. It's well-built. Uh, just make sure I'm not missing anything from my notes here. Um, I know Nikon said it had improved battery life. It definitely was decent. I never noticed the battery being a problem. I'm not sure if I noticed it being better than my AW100, but they do claim better battery life. Um, the It's got an auto HDR mode. I'm not sure that was on my older AW100. I didn't, uh, I don't even think I used that, but it is there if you wanna try that out. Um, and it does actually eight frames per second continuous shooting. So that's basically um, in a nutshell, the AW130. I, I would I would give it I would give it the, the mat two thumbs up for what it is a uh, great little camera I, I often will take one of the um, AW either this when I've had it here the AW130 the AW100 I've got the XP80 from Fuji here I take one of the you know freeze proof waterproof shockproof cameras out with me if I'm going anywhere where I just don't want to worry about the camera as much because it's pocketable it's waterproof shockproof all of those things you don't really have to worry about it, but you can still get better image quality than probably your phone, especially considering it does have a zoom. So pretty decent that way. Um, so yeah, I give it two thumbs up. If you guys have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. I'll see if I can get them answered for you. But I would, uh, I'd recommend it, especially uh, if you do a little shopping, see if you can get it at a sale price. I always like to get things on sale or a refurb. Um, it's, a, it's a good deal. It's a good camera to have with you uh, on a regular basis. Keep it in a knapsack, keep it in a coat pocket because it is you know, the weatherproof, shockproof, waterproof, freeze-proof, whatever camera. You don't have to worry about it. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.